Hey everybody. What's up? What's up? Welcome to Daily Life. And as you can see, we have a disco ball trophy here. Do you know what that is? That's the Dancing with the Stars trophy. This is my season seven. But look at this. This is this is old school Dancing with the Stars. Also missing some mirrors in there. Oh. <laughs> That's sad. It's so broken. <laughs> That's sad. But anyways, the reason why I brought up classic one is because today we're going way back. Back into time. <laughs> so being a judge on Dancing with the Stars now has made me like reflect a little bit about the full circleness of everything, you know? I joined Dancing the Stars season five, and as my first season, I was nervous, didn't really know what I was doing. Looked like a baby. <laughs> like young. He was super skinny. I weighed about a whole 90 pounds. <laughs> My first partner was Jenny Garth from Beverly Hills 90210. 90210, it doesn't make sense because it's not an O. 90210. But you said 90210. Oh yeah, 90210. If you really want to go there. It's actually kind of funny though. That's just what people say. They say 90210. Sometimes. There's not O's though. There's not, there's zeros. They look like O's. Anyways, <laughs> my first season of Dancing with the Stars was season five with Jenny Garth from 90210. Oh <laughs> Beverly Hills. So let's go ahead and watch. Look it out. Cha cha. First dance. Okay, here we go. Cha cha cha. All right. We danced to Uptown Girl. Oh. oh. Pacing. She's. A whistle, okay. Did you have all of your fingers in your mouth? Classic, <laughs> classic heel slide. Okay. Yep, okay. Now we're trying that footwork a little bit more, but but for a first week though? Not bad. Let's go, Jenny. Hey, hey. Oh. Yep. Just some purple action going on there too. By the way, I thought it was so cool because I had like a name tag, like a, like an, uh, a work like a mechanic, Uptown Girl. I was like, wow, what a cool costume. Okay, nice little, nice little. Okay, I see you. Yeah, not bad though. Yeah, actually not bad. For a first all. week, I mean, we gotta work on the feet a little bit here, but. This choreo too is just such old school, like. Latin. Latin, yeah. Straight up. This is like what. This is like straight Latin cha cha. The show evolved a lot, um, almost to where like Chacha's become unrecognizable. That deep lunge that you just did. You like that? No. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, okay, yeah, boom. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing with the hands Me there. Either. Oh, we get a little bit ahead of the music there. Oh, it's okay. That's right, nice recovery, nice recovery. Look at her arms. I see you, oh. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yep. Boom. Wow. I mean. Not bad for your first one. For a first one, listen. Especially for your first season. First season. As well. But you know what happened though? After that performance, my sisters called me. And I was like, hey guys, what do you think? They're like, Derek, you're dancing too much. Like. You are. Like I was dancing for myself. Right. Like I was like, look at me. Yes. Look at my hip action. I wasn't really focused on her as yeah. much. I was like about myself because you're like, I want to prove myself. Yeah, wanna... and you want to dance full out, but sometimes you can dance a little too full out, so it kind of covers up your partner a little bit. It covers them up and throws them off balance sometimes. Yeah. Like it's like a you're whole not thing. Used to it. And so they kind of called me out for that. Good lesson to learn because that's the one thing about the show you can't do. You can't. It's not about you. It's not about you. And once it's the quicker you realize that, the better. It's about. The partner. Pretty dang good. Not for bad. First dance. Not bad. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. <laughs> when you dance to a certain song, that song is forever ingrained in your brain. <laughs> associated and ingrained in your brain for whatever dance that was yeah. or in that moment, that time. So every time I hear, I'm hearing one of these songs, I'm just like, I'm like transported back. Week two with Jenny Garth, we did a quick step. I sped that quick step up a lot and I didn't realize it until I like until we danced it on the day oh no 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 that's that's what happened oh my gosh okay this is what happened so you dance to a track all week and then the morning of the show on Monday morning you would have a band rehearsal and you would dance to the band which at the time was Harold Wheeler 
and his orchestra. And the music definitely then sounded a lot much more, I would say like, it didn't sound like the track, it would sound like a big band version of the track. So if you had like a pop song, it wouldn't sound anything like that, it would sound totally different. <laughs> By week two, I hear, I'm, we do the band rehearsal, which is just a few hours before we go live, and I say to Harold, I say, hey, can you speed it up a little bit? Like, well, can we speed up a few BPM, you know, beats per minute? And he's like, yeah, yeah, sure, Derek, sure, sure. You said that to him on Monday? On the morning of, I was like, let's speed it up a little bit. And it was a lot faster. So when you when I watched this, I remember being like, one and two and three and four and five and six and da da da. Did you not do a dress rehearsal? I don't know. I just I was actually like, oh, this feels okay. And then watching it back, I was like, well, it's too fast. Interesting. <laughs> okay, let's watch it. All right, here we go. Quick step. Okay. Oh, good shoulder. But this is like proper ballroom quick step. Legit. Oh, that thing should travel more on those. <laughs> hey. It's just like a very so low quality video, but not bad, not bad frame. Yeah, she's doing a little. We're doing a little bit of that. A lot of steps in this. She's getting it though. Look at that, those pivots. Good neckline. That right, that left arm. You know, we're kind of doing this a little bit. Yeah. But I'm actually, honestly, this is where it gets a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're bouncing, bouncing it up. But the footwork looks good, we're cruising. The footwork's really good. nice. Oh, we kind of gave up on the frame. Yeah, I was gonna say, I think that's choreographed, but. but the She's pretty good. Right? You but find that a lot of people are a lot better. I mean, it kind of depends. Oh, did she just mess up? Yeah, there was a little, there was a little moment there. Slide across the floor, two weeks in a row sliding. Yep. And boom. Oh no. Oh, I just oh, said, no. come on, don't worry about it. You it's live said, TV. I want to straddle her anyway and pretend like that was supposed to happen. Oh no. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that's most embarrassing. <laughs> when you think about, when you think about what's the worst thing that could happen to you on live television while you're dancing, what is, what, what's something, you, what's like the top of the list? Falling. Falling. Not just falling, dropping, dropping your somebody. partner. I didn't like drop her. If you look, if you do the slow-mo, the replay, you see that as I slide, her dress gets caught underneath. Watch this, I'm gonna pause it right here, watch this. Right, bop, right there. You see that my heel, the dress is underneath my heel, mm-hmm, and the, the dress takes my foot from underneath me. Watch this, instant replay. So I slide across the floor. She's running, boom. I go, give me your hands. Go. She, she really went, went for it. Dress, boom. Oh, okay. Right? But, it's kind of your fault. What? Because you stepped on her dress. Oh. <laughs> you Babe. did. Babe. You did, you took, if you saw in the I did not, what? You did, in the slow-mo you said, you did a little stumble step. Not gonna lie, you did. It was a fluke accident. Yeah. It was an accident, like yeah. the, the dress, Caught my heel, it took my foot from underneath me to go whoop. Try to save it, but here's the here's what sucked, all right? This is like, I'm on television. It's your second week. Only my second week. <laughs> and I'm like, I know what I'm doing. I I can do this. I'm trying to convince my partner, who by the way, it was like, why am I dancing with this 12 year old kid? And, you know, I'm like, don't worry, I got you, I got you. Like, I was really trying to prove myself to my partner, to her, and then I, you know, that happens on live te television. And also, after that, on all the news station, like the view yeah. and everything, like who is this kid dropping women on TV? <laughs> and by the way, she was devastated. She was mortified. But then the good thing that came from that was this, there's nothing worse that could happen. So it almost like took off pressure. It was like, oh. Yeah. I said it the other week, this season of Dancing with the Stars, when Sky Jackson fell. A setback is a setup for a comeback. And that's exactly what we did. Because the following week, we did a tango, she crushed it, and off to the races. How far did you guys get? We made it to the semifinal. So yeah, when I say that I've experienced a lot of different things on the show, my second performance on the show ever, I fell over. So we got, I got that one out of the way there real quick. <laughs> real quick. Did you ever fall again? Oh yeah, I fell, hit in the face, dropped, lots of, lots of things. Good. Dancing with guitars, coming to you next season 20. Never. 85. <laughs>